Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you how you could use Google Classroom to give the students some private comments. So if the students are at home, they can comment back to you privately without actually adding something to the classroom. So over here, we have got the option here to change the stream so students can post and comment. They can comment or only teachers can post and comment. If you have it set to one of these two, then students, if we go back to the classroom, they can then add something to the stream here. So they can post and comment in the stream. So it's, it's up to you whether that's something that you want the students to do. And if you do that, remember all students can see all comments and all posts. So just please remember that. Let's go to classwork where I can show you how you can do this um, privately. I've got a training assignment here so I'm going to click on this assignment and then I'm going to open up all of the students work and the easiest way to do that is by clicking on one of these uh, numbers here depending on whether children have actually handed it in. So let's uh, click on this and this here is a screen showing me all the documents. Now I've got all the documents on this side as well. Now at any point I can just click on one of these so if I go to hand solo here I can click on hand solo, I can add a private comment in this section here. All right, so that will be just a comment that will only be visible to the student, to my student here, in this case, hand solo. So I could add a comment here saying, well done, a great piece of work. And then I can send that, and then the student will actually see it. The other way to do this is by um, clicking on the document and that will open the document up in this window and here you can see all the work that the children are doing and you can comment on the document within the document using the Google features but you can also here here click a private comment we've got one comment that I've just made but I can make that private comment within the document as well so So I put that comment here and I've asked the student to message me back once they've replied to the comment. So let's click on post. Now I can close that, then the students will be able to see those private comments. But you can also see that private comment has appeared here. So now let's go to the student view and see what the student sees. So this is the student view. So this is Han Solo, I'm logged in as at the moment, as you can see. So I can go to classwork and then I go down to the assignment that they've been given and then I can view the assignment. And there I can see the comments that the teacher has provided. So I can click got it. And now as a student, I can reply to that. And I can click respond here. Now, there's an added feature to this if you want the students to reply as a class. So they may want to comment as a class on that piece of work, in which case you can use this section here where the students can reply as a class. Now that's only available if you've set your settings to students can comment. Otherwise that will not appear. So I'm gonna reply with my private comments. Now if I go back to my teacher, then this will refresh and then I will be able to see the student comment on that particular document. And there you go, there is my comment from the student. So that is how you're going to have that communication with the students using Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, Goodbye.